Yupo paper. Apparently this is plastic paper. They take, I think, pretty small plastic pellets and they squish it and pull it like taffy till it's very thin and very wide and very long and very flat. And someone linked it to me and it was in my Amazon cart for quite a while because it was one of those add-on items. And eventually I, I ended up buying it and it got to me and I, I tried drawing on it with, first of all, with just regular markers, which wasn't that different. But then when I tried drawing on it with this watercolors, which a lot of people recommended to me, it, it, it really surprised me. And I felt like I was standing on a skating rink on, on, on ice physically, because it, it is slippery stuff. It kind of reminded me of Teflon or something. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I think that's a copyrighted word. But I felt totally out of control. I think it might be similar. You can create lots of swirly, weird textures. It might be similar to paint pouring. And if it is similar to paint pouring, I'm suddenly less interested in paint pouring, as weird as that may seem. But for some reason, I do like being a little bit in control of my art. But maybe I do need to learn to let, let go a little bit. But they say uh, this it's totally tree-free. Probably, po I'm going to say polypropylene. Say that, say that one time fast. Um, but it's totally tree-free, which means it's just totally plastic. I don't know if that means it's good or bad for the environment. That less trees are getting cut down, but we're f filling. I guess I'm. I don't, I don't personally plan on ever throwing away any of this stuff. But if it does get thrown away, then the landfills are getting filled with plastic instead of paper. Anyways, I hear that most people who cut down trees to make paper are planting more trees than they cut down anyways. What I'm trying to say is, I was I was using these watercolors on this paper, which did seem to be more vibrant than on random paper. Regular watercolor paper. It seemed to be more vibrant, maybe because it wasn't getting seeped and sucked down into the fibers. But on the on the bad side, it took forever for it to dry, because... It was just sitting there in a puddle of color on the paper, and and I I didn't know what to do. I I had like a certain rhythm, you know, that you work through when you're drawing and working on stuff, and I was just stuck there at one point, sitting there staring at it. Uh, I couldn't do anything because usually when I draw it with these watercolors, I I smush around my colors, you know, and then I after it's dried a little bit, which doesn't usually take that long, especially with these pens I use, I can draw on it when it's a little bit damp. Um, I like to draw lines on top of the little clouds of color that I make, but it just it was just a puddle of color. So at one point, I was just like dumping the color off of there. And at one point, you can also see I was doing weird splooshes of weird, they were like anti-color blobs, like appearing out of nowhere, like little circles, like cancerous, like mushrooms appearing, mushrooms of, I don't know what it was, but I mean, I do know what it was. I was, um, I was doing little drips of, rubbing alcohol right into it, and it made, I guess alcohol and water don't get along very well. I'm no, I'm no scientist, but it was doing cool things. I didn't really end up using too much of that thing, that, that sensation in the final piece, but it was fun to mess around with. And you can, uh, if you don't let it all dry too much, you can really just get a cloth and really wipe it clean pretty easily. The less you let it dry, the easier it is to wipe it clean but I'm pretty sure as I was working with it, I noticed that I was smudging it all quite a bit. I think if I worked with this in the future, I would I would put on some gloves to avoid the smudge, even though it's good. I always, I advocate embracing the smudge because it just gets, gets stressful if you don't embrace the smudge. You, you get in your head with the smudging instead of getting in your head, getting in your head with the art. And you want, it, you want your head to be full of the art and not the smudge. The smudge is part of the art. What I was saying is, I think even if it's, completely dry on this weird smooth plastic paper you can still probably scrub at a little bit and probably get most of it off there if you put some real elbow grease into it one really weird thing that i noticed is um i must have touched the paper a lot more than i realized because when i was trying to put the watercolors onto it uh, there were a few just big swaths and chunks and lumps of the paper not lumps, because it's totally smooth, where none of the watercolor would stick at all. Totally water and color repellent, because the color was in the water. And it didn't take me long to realize that when I really tried to you know, c cover it with the, the watercolor, I, 
I could see my a very clear image of my own fingerprint in there. And I guess it was something to do with just this, the, the little bits of oils on my skin transferred to the, to the plastic. And it was somehow super reactant. And once again, science struck and got in the way of my art. But I guess most of the time when we're making art, we're working with science, whether we like it or not. Uh, but it was, it was a little bit frustrating because I'm like, I want to put color here. And it was like, no color here. So, but I had fun little white splotches and lighter chunks and it all works out in the end. And it, it, it is good. Maybe I will do the paint pouring. I think maybe doing paint pouring one day would be therapeutic for me just to learn. Just to, to learn to let go a little bit of my art. And it would still be fun to draw on top of. But uh, if you're learning, if you want to grab some of this Upo paper, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't really recommend it in one direction or the other. It seems kind of gimmicky to me. But if you just want something fun to mess around with, to push, push colors of paint around on and... Uh, I mean, you can wipe it off and try again if you don't like what you did. So, eh, give it a shot. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. I love you. I love you.